Thank you so much to the Cora Girls for sending me this for free to try today and share with all of you. Well, I'm super excited today because there are new dolls out coming out in March and they're going to be available at Walmart and FAO Schwartz. I did read the paper and that's what it says. And they're by Sepia and it, or Sepia. Sepia? Sepia. I... You know, I've heard people say it both ways. <laughs> and these are called Decora Girls. And they have five inch dolls, larger fashion dolls, and a little like cute trunk. And it's so cute. So today, this is the box, which, ugh, you know me and PR boxes. I end up keeping them all. Oh, a little update from Instagram. Yes, I decided to keep most of the PR boxes. And now they're in a storage unit. So that is the level I'm at now at my collecting. <laughs> and this box will probably go through two eventually. Ah, it's too many boxes, but they look so cute. So these dolls are really, really really colorful. They're fun. They have very much of an animated caricature face. They're cute. They're really, really cute. So this is the packaging, the outside of the box. And then when you open it up inside, we have a bunch of goodies and I really, oh my gosh. So I've got some stickers. We have some cute decor stickers. Oh, and I got some bracelets. Okay. I'm going to be wearing these little bracelets. We have one that says, of course, Decora Girls. And this one says happy. I'm going to wear that right now. I'm going to feel the happy vibes. And some of these dolls have like band-aids on their nose and that type of like look. And they give us band-aids. It's actually really cool. And there are, oh my gosh, this is really, really cute. I'm going to put them on right now to go with my pink shirt and my blue earrings. They have all these little hair clips because the dolls themselves wear a ton of hair clips. So I'm going to have to wear some of these. These are just so cute. So cute. My little bald spot here let me hide it okay that looks good <laughs> i'm just losing hair on one side of my head you know that's what happens when you age and i'm gonna put this one here this is fun all oh, these are so cute okay so i'm definitely gonna wear these out <laughs> and here let me show you what's coming in the box and then we'll unbox everything so there are multiple dolls and the little ones are in mysteries now the larger fashion dolls you can see in the packaging so you can you know exactly who you're getting but this one there are eight different characters there's heather sweetie celestia luna oh my god i love luna blossom buzzy cat and london and they come in packages looking like this and oh there's 19 dolls i'm 19 different dolls oh my gosh that's so many so <laughs> there's a little picture on the back of the different characters you can get and it's sticker and style dolls so these dolls are obviously really meant to be creative with put stuff on them decorate them if you will and this is so cute this gave me such nostalgic vibes like a hundred percent this vinyl case for your five inch mystery dolls and it's just so cute it's so cute Look at the back, look at that. Look at her in that little packaging. And I like that it is actually vinyl material. It reminds me of like a My Little Pony vinyl case that I had and I think it was, oh my God, was that 83, 84, 85? Right around that era and it was a vinyl case but I love the vinyl look though. I love that because everything's plastic, like that hard plastic and I like the plastic vinyl better. I don't know, just really cute. Now the piece, the results is the fashion doll. Cause I love the, I love the concept of the little mini ones but the big ones, when I saw this at Toy Fair, I was like, oh, this cute i was so cute now there's four different ones there's decora which this is decora and there's luna celestia and sweetie and luna's tans down my favorite i thought luna was so cute i'm gonna have to go pick her up i just love her little like you know kind of hot topic gothy vibe cute mixed with the decora girl fashion i love that one that one's my favorite but here are the four different ones you can get they come in this round kind of packaging rainbow style it's a rainbow shape I'm gonna go with rainbow shape. It's sticker, sparkle, and shine. Collect them all. So definitely check out all their socials. They've been posting tons and tons of stuff on their socials, and it's really, really cute. Like I, I'm falling in love with them more and more. Looking at their packaging now in person is just so cute. But yeah, their socials have been really, really cool. So I'm gonna do two different videos with this. In this video, I'm going to be opening up the larger fashion doll, and then in my other video, I'm going to open up the little uh, sticker store case thing. <laughs> So many words and the five inch fashion doll so i'm going to focus on that but right now i'm going to open up the larger fashion doll all right let me read what it comes with it comes with a doll an outfit a pair of shoes three hair clips two stickers one bag one clip charm a comb and a doll stand oh a doll stand oh it comes with a doll stand oh it does come with a doll stand oh that's awesome okay hooray as a doll collector out here you know we love some doll stands okay that is awesome and over 75 surprises that's a lot all right so let's open up decora 
and she's out of the box. And I was like, oh, I didn't really explain what Decora it was or is. Uh, Decora is a very bright pop happy uh, hair clipped accessorized type of style of fashion from Japan big in the 2000s. Uh, I didn't realize it like I guess started kind of in the 90s. Now there are like subculture sub styles to Decora. They have a little bit of like Lolita darker elements but for the most part it's just like tons of hair clips, tons of bracelets. Think like Harajuku fashion because I was looking up that the to kind of coincide together and that's where they're getting a lot of their inspiration for these dolls obviously being called Decora girls. So just in case that's what it is if you're really thinking about it. It's a lot more than that but a basic overview right? So the doll out of the box I had rubber bands in the hair so I cut that off and now look how soft this is. It's very 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 soft. I'm actually very very pleasantly surprised with how soft the hair is and I already put some of the hair clips. It does come with a what is it one two three hair clips but I only put the little bow. I think the bow is the cutest. So we have rainbow hair very vibrant and like I said very very soft. I'm pretty sure if you wash it those little crimps would come out from the rubber bands but like I said I cannot get over like I just want to keep like doing this because it's just so soft and like I said full rainbow color to match with this outfit. This outfit though like I've been looking at it kind of gives Jojo a little bit <laughs> with the bows and like the rainbow style. I was like oh is this Jojo? <laughs> uh, but yeah kind of giving me that a little bit here with this big face big eyes and I literally was googling for so hard like so long and I could not figure it out. There was a doll quiz time everybody that came out in like 20... 13, 2014, big head, smaller body, and it's not like the cutie pop, snotty da. And there was another one I got it exclusively. I think it was at Toys R Us. And honestly, this is kind of giving me that vibe, but a different kind of aesthetic. Because the other one had like a rock star looking one with red hair and a black dress, and that was the one I had. If you know what that doll is, please throw it in the comments because I literally it was like big doll head things like you and I could not figure it out. <laughs> Google was not helping me, but this is kind of giving me that same feeling. So if you know what doll it is, please, I think it's called be something and that's all I could figure it out. Oh, all right, super long tangent. Now back onto the doll. This doll does come with a purse and a little charm clip and the charm actually does detach, like attach right there. See it put on like a bracelet, necklace or any other like a little accessory bag and she just come with her own little purse. Now she's very rainbowed out like from her striped socks. Give me very like Dr. Seuss almost. Uh, I don't know why I'm kind of feeling that. We do have like the furry little leg covers and then look at these shoes. Okay, I do love the shoes are really cute. The shoes are definitely giving there. And like I said, she's just really, I don't know, just I, something about her makes me like her. Like I just love the big eyes. Obviously like Luna was my favorite, which I can feel like with the other four dolls, they're hitting the sub, like the sub levels to Decora. Cause I kind of mentioned obviously like one was like a little more darker aesthetic and kind of like Lolita vibes. I think that's like the one that Luna is because it has like the little skull shirt and like more black into the outfit versus this, which is just full rainbow. So at least with the dolls that I've noticed with the first four in the fashion doll size, they're at least hitting different styles of decor fashion and not just going, oh, well decor has a lot of hair clips and they're just giving dolls with hair clips. So at least they're going, Again, keeping it still like for kids, a play line, but giving us a little bit more. I could be thinking too deep into it, <laughs> but that's like kind of what I was gathering from looking at all four dolls that they're hitting all the sub culture styles of Decora with the line, which I thought was cool. Oh, and then inside, let me show, side note, the inside of the shirt there has a little bow and then a bow on the skirt. Now she doesn't come with super like ton of accessories. I was hoping we have more accessories. Um, this is the Decora brush, very, simple little brush. We do get, like I said, more hair clips. And then of course stickers so that you can decorate her. And I do like that it comes with little like band-aid stickers. That's really adorable. Cause obviously a lot of the dolls have like the band-aids on the nose. I thought that was cute. And it does come with a stand. I love that. You know, the, at least they're thinking about for the collector aspect of it. And I think kids still use stands sometimes too, right? I mean, I try to think back to when I was a kid, I used the doll stands, but Again, maybe not every kid was <laughs> as organized as I was. Like all my dolls were like on their little shelf, but it says Decora here, or Decora Girls, and it has like a normal little like, not a Kaiser stand, but like the, honestly it reminds me of like a Monster High kind of stand. So at least they're getting, like I said, a stand. I do appreciate that so much. And I don't really have any complaints on her. I think she's really, really cute. She's very, very colorful. My only thing is like if I hold her by her legs, she does do like, see how she's like leaning. And then if you just wiggle her a little bit, like she's like, <laughs> which is expected for a doll that has this type of head to body ratio. Even other dolls that I've had that have larger heads, they tend to like, <laughs> you know, 
topple a little bit uh, just because of the weight of the doll head. Now she is a really hard, oh for those of you who may be customized, she does have really hard like her head vinyl is really 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 hard. Um, she doesn't have any holes in her ears for earrings but I feel like somebody could do that. Um, when it comes to articulation it doesn't have any but Okay, so I take it back. Maybe that is my only complaint. I really like articulation, but I feel like for the head to body ratio, if there was like an articulated limb, like like legs or something, I feel like she would really topple over. So, but like I said, for, I'm thinking again from a collector's mindset, but for like a kid demographic, I think this is cute. I can see them like throwing this around, playing with it, you know, taking the pieces and in, interchanging it between the dolls and like putting these on other dolls. Like the leg covers are Velcro. So I could so see you put this outfit on into a different doll. Uh, I could see honestly, the outfit looks a little small. I feel it's like Monster High size. I feel like maybe you could put that on a Monster High doll. The jacket could maybe fit a Rainbow High. Hmm. <laughs> now I'm like, ooh, you're going to wear new outfits. Um, yeah, like I said, I just really love how big the faces are. They're very happy. It's something different from a lot of like the other dolls that I'm seeing for right now. Like, I mean, every, I think there's always waves of dolls that come out. Like I said, the one that I cannot think of from Toys R Us that had a big head and a small body that... <laughs> But again, that was almost 10 years ago. Uh, I think she's cute. Like I said, would I have liked articulation? Yeah, would I have liked a few more? I feel like something else. Like I wanted, I don't know, more pieces, accessories, something. Like I'm, I feel like I wanted a little something else. Maybe more charms or something is another one. Also, this one has an eye chip. I just realized, oh, she has an eye chip. I mean, it's in the white part. I'll just put a little white paint there. But I was like, oh, she has an eye chip. But yeah, I mean, again, besides that, I'm not, she's cute. <laughs> but I do I really do plan on getting like Luna because she I don't know the Luna one I was just like mm, I'm feeling that one they're cute let me know in the comments below what you think thank you so much to Decora Girls for sending me this doll for free today and like I said they're they're fun they're trying to do something a little different you know and I don't know I like that I like that somebody's trying to do something right I love dolls I hope they keep making more dolls different dolls experimenting trying new things you know it's just I'm glad to see it. All right, so until next time, I will be doing the unboxing of the five inch doll and the little like carry case in my next video. So bye everybody. Thank you so much, Sepia, for sending me the dolls.